Okay guys, so today I'm going to do my final, my pre-calculus final. So this is my first proof. So it's 1 minus cotangent for x equals 2 uh, cosecant squared x minus secant, uh, cosecant uh, 4x. So we're going to start right away. So for myself, I'm going to do um, two parts. So part one, I'm going to do the left side. So as you see, I take off the left side, so it becomes 1 minus cotangent 4x, which, as you know, cotangent is also equal to cosine over sine. And then it will become like this. So if we're going to re get rid of this parentheses, uh, we gotta also get the one involved, which we're gonna see here. It's sine uh, sine four x minus cosine four x over sine x uh, sine four x, and then we're gonna start doing the upper part. Why you want, you guys will know later. Just being lazy and easier to do, more efficiency way. So. If we're going to take off this part, you see, you can see that it will becomes one, um, and negative cosine four x plus sine four x, and this part, we going from this part we're going to use, well actually, for all for for all, um, for all this proof, I'm going to use only one um, identities, which is um, as here. Cos, uh, cosine squared x plus sine squared x equals 1. Uh, why? Because I'm lazy. And there's no necessary to use others. So, um, to become, to get easier, we're going to uh, expand this. Don't ask me why, because we're going to get, be, like this one becomes this. And, every, and our life will be easier, much easier. So it becomes negative um, open parentheses cosine x plus sine x oh, close the parentheses and open another uh, uh, parentheses which is cosine x minus sine x and close another parentheses and open one more which is cosine square x plus sine square x and close it. So right now you can see it's familiar with the one we've seen the right here right uh, here so this part will become familiar with this and we're gonna move right to our next part just take a second and okay mm. so for this part we already let them become one because we use this identities to become one, and others will remain the same. And then we're going to next step. We just combine these two and get rid of the parentheses. Will it become negative cosine x, uh, negative cosine square x plus sine square x. And till now, if you still don't really get it, go back and look again or go ask your teacher. Uh, so now we're going to use our original original um, identities to flip it around, which becomes um, sine square x equals one cosine square x. And let's see if we plug in this sine square into this sine square, it will becomes. 1 minus cosine square x minus cosine square x. Looks easy? Yep. From now on, we just use our um, algebra. It will become 1 minus 2 cosine, x, cosine square x. And then we use our algebra skill. Take the 2 out of this problem this one and negative sign why you guys you guys will know pretty soon 
So it will become negative 1 plus, open parentheses, 1 minus cosine x, uh, square x, or close to parentheses, and times 2. Why well, I'm going to do this? Because we're going to use our next identities. S and x is still, again, you're going to flip this around, becomes like this. It's 1 minus cosine square x equals to sine square x. And you use um, this uh, 1 minus cosine square x and plug into this part. See what I'm doing? Yep. It will become minus 1 plus 2 sine square x. And then we're going to plug, use this plug back to this. So it will become like this. And then I'm going to do the next part. Okay, guys. So, we just finished our left part. And I'm going to do our right part. Yep. Everything needs to be equal. So men and women, too. So, then math. Um, so, uh, our left part, um, I mean, our right part is 2. Secant square x minus secant 4 x. If I pronounce wrong, yeah, whatever, because I'm not, I'm Chinese, man. You cannot complain. So, it will become 2 over, uh, in case you guys don't know, so, cosecant also equal, equals to 1 over C, uh, 1 over sine. And this is our basic 6 um, trick equations, I think so. So, you guys need to memorize this to understand this. Okay, so whatever. Um, 2 over sine square x minus 1 over sine 4x. And then we're going to minus them together. Together, well, through a substance, I think so. So it will become 2 sine square x minus, uh, minus 1 all, all over sine 4x. Does it look familiar? Yep. If we're going to put these two together, see, they are all same, just the numbers flip it around. So I'm going to write it to the last proof. It will become. This is our right part, so our left part. So it's going to be 2 sine square x over sine 4x equal to 2 sine. Oh, I forgot to add a minus sign here. Sorry. And then sign that. And then that. So, this is my proof. And yeah, this is my first questions. And see our next questions. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to do my second part, which is question number 20. I don't know why I'm going to do it back, uh, backwards, but it sounds fun. So,. Yeah. So my second part will be tangent uh, square x minus sine square x equals to tangent square x times sine square x. I don't know what's the difference, but I'm just going to prove it. Okay, so, dang. so I'm going to use the same identity, which is uh, cosine square plus sine square equals 1. But we're going to flip it over, so we're going to be like sine square x uh, equals to 1 minus cosine square x. Um, I feel so thirsty, man. So we're going to pull up the left part, unlike the first one. We're going to pull up the left part first. See? Going to pull up this part to become like this. Um, pretty soon you know, you're going to know what I'm doing. So, the tangent square x times sine square x will equal to open parentheses 1 minus cosine square x times tangent square x because we plug in this sine square into this sine square and it becomes like this okay compared to the first part this part is actually easier much easier that's why so 
the tangent square x minus um, cosine. I mean, so we're going to expand this part. Um, we're going to open this parentheses. Let this one plug in this one times this one. So it becomes like um, tangent square x minus cosine square x times tangent square x. So this part, if you don't know, man, you're gonna go back to algebra, man. Dang. So, flip it over, it will become like this. Well, actually, we don't flip this part. So, we're gonna take this part, negative cosine square x plus uh, tangent square x, to take it out, and then we're going to, <coughs> excuse me, becomes negative sine sine max over sine x over cosine x. Why? Because tangent, as we all know, is sine x over cosine x. And we just plug it in, and everything will be the same. So, so the square also goes into the square, and then this part goes to back to here. Everything is good and peaceful. Yep. And then we put this this part back to our the to our big equation, which is this one, and then it will become like this. Yes, so you can see everything is messed up, but it's good still. So, if you find something funny, we can actually uh, cross out this part. It will become like this. Uh, paper is going fully around. So, it will cross out cosine cosine squared. And left out the sine, which will be minus negative sine square x. And then we're going to plug in back, which is negative sine square x uh, plus tangent square x. Looks familiar? Yep. If we flip it around, it will become like this. And then back to if we back to our original um, original equations, we can rewrite it. Well, actually not rewrite it, but we can prove that sine, um, I mean tangent, square x minus sine square x equals to tangent uh, square x and minus sine square x, which it's proof. Yep. And hope you guys will like it. Well, probably not because yeah, it's boring, kind of boring now. Well, yeah, and I think that's it. That's it, man. Yep. See you guys next time. Bye.